Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising, this is Lizzie B. Gold coming to you live from Lizzie's Alkaline Kitchen here in uh, West Babylon. So um, that's in New York City for those of you who don't know. Um, but I did a, you know, I've been up here doing aquatic foraging and I've been learning a lot about um, vegetation from the ocean because that's what Dr. Sabi wanted us to do. And when you think about it, um, it doesn't really matter what teacher you follow if they're not teaching you things about the ocean something's wrong <laughs> so um one of the big things that dr sabi talks about is sea vegetables um seaweeds um red algae and brown algae he talks about this all the time nonstop. um if you're actually listening and researching you would understand that is what he is talking about um i've been harvesting and i have been very very happy with these harvest everyone um let me see if i can set something up here i'm gonna have some yerba mate san mateo and we're gonna look at all of the yummy 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 beautiful things that i got aura hey i see you down there hey sis okay here we go guys let me um switch this around bolingo is here um okay so i have been going and getting very, very large, large bags of moss. Um, this is very heavy. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to lift. Um, this is what is going on, y'all. Look at that beautiful moss. Um, you'll hear people talk a lot about full spectrum moss. Um, what I am telling you is that Yes, there is a such thing as full spectrum moss, but when they're saying full spectrum moss, this is a piece of, I've been finding a lot of bladder act too, you guys, baby bladder. Um, the, this is a different type of seaweed we'll talk about later. But um, when we're talking about these mosses, what you have to know is there are many different kinds of red algae. Um, you know, there are many different kinds of greetings, greetings, um, different kinds of red algae. So they're not the same. They're not going to look the same. They're not going to feel the same. You can see the difference in these three here. And you can see I've got a pot of different colors here. The lighter color that you're seeing right here, this is all sitting in some spring water. This color, this used to be really, really dark red, but I've been letting it soak so I can clean it. Um, it was about that color. Both of these have been soaking, but as you can see, these are different shaped red mosses, but they both make the best sea moss ever. Um, I have gone through and separated the mosses because this is also a kind of red moss. Oh man, y'all, this one is beautiful. This is one of my favorite ones. And um, this one here, which is uh, way brighter when you first harvest it. And then if you let it sit in some water, it will begin, you'll see the colors um, begin to change, which is why I say be careful with people that say they're selling you full spectrum moss because they might just be selling you some moss that they've let soak and then dried because as you can see, as this stuff soaks, it changes color. As it's in the light, it changes color. All of the different kinds, okay? If you see the different colors in here. I got this all from one beach. And this is all red algae. This is all sea moss. I've even got some green algae in there because I'm going to make a full spectrum, which is going to have red, brown, and green. Um, red algae, brown algae, and green algae. The red algae is where people get their sea moss from. Brown algae is what you're thinking of when you think bladder act, though there's different kinds. And then green algae is going to be the little floating plumes that you see, um, like this one. They look like little floating plumes under the water. Um, they're very, very thin, beautiful, beautiful little, no, that's actually red algae that has got some chlorophyll on it. Um, releasing a little bit of its chlorophyll but the ones that i got yesterday there's a lot more green algae in it this in here is all red algae with a little bit of brown algae um but this is all red algae okay so this is all sea moss now um let's show you guys what it looks like when it looks like this and we set it up and we set ourselves up here if i can hold on i'm gonna sit y'all on my yerba mate for a minute here we go. 
Okay. So you guys see this really, really large bag. Um, let me bring you a little closer to me here. Oh, sea moss. I'm just gonna crack it open. This is just some sea lettuce that I'm drying out um, because I'm gonna clean all my sea lettuce, dry it, and I'm gonna start using that in my food because it's really good. Um, hey, baby. What's up? Hey. Go wait for your brother. You're gonna read books. So I'm breaking this open on camera so that you guys can see um, what's happening here. Um, I might actually have to turn you back around, y'all. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn y'all back around. You can see I've got it in my bag and I had put it in the refrigerator so that I could do processing this morning. Um, it's still nice and wet. Mm -hmm. Still nice and wet. You can even see the red color coming out of the moss at the bottom of the bag, which is what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, we've got our bowl ready. Okay. Um, so let's cut this. Let me see if I can do this one handed for you guys, because I'm not going to be doing too many more videos on moss. I've shown you guys so much that I'm pretty sure you probably mastered it by now. So, um, this is the colors that I wanted you to see. And mind you, these have even lost a little bit of color because they've been stored. You can see some of the color has drained out, but you can see here, I'm going to put all of this in this bowl so that you can see it. Okay, um, literally, look, I found some dead man fingers. This is dead man fingers, a very powerful, powerful sea vegetable, y'all. This is a powerful algae. Um, we're going to eat it up. We're going to blend it up with our moss. It's really good. You can see where I got some more. This one is beautiful. It actually has red moss. This has red algae. It actually has sea moss growing off of it. I can't wait to show that to you guys. You can see the little ones here. Beautiful color. Okay, here goes some more dead man fingers. You guys can see. Look at that moss. This is aquatic harvesting at its best. Um, Yancy recorded me actually pulling a lot of it out of the ocean. I'm gonna try to see if I can get that video to upload for you guys because at that point, you'll be able to see the full process. Look at that beautiful. And like I said, this has lost a bit of color because it will lose color um, the longer it's out of the ocean water, it will begin to lose its color. And as you can see, um, when you get some of the mosses that are still growing on the rock, pieces of it are floating up to the top and they will, they'll bleach right there in the ocean. Um, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red algae sea moss. So um, I'm still pulling more. I'm gonna see if I can get the whole bag in here so you guys can see what one harvest looks like for me. Look at that, look at that y'all. That beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red algae and brown algae that we have here. Um, beautiful algae. And I want you guys to look at this bag. Do you see this color here? This is, it was this bright when you first pull it out of the ocean. It's that bright, bright red. But I've had it in the refrigerator for a day. No, this has been in the refrigerator for two days. Um, I'm going to go get some that I did yesterday to show you guys. Look at this, guys. Look at that. See that? I want you guys to get a real good look at this. Okay. Because when you begin to do these things on your own, um, what I've noticed is the haters have come out like crazy. Um, <laughs> people will realize that you're able to sustain yourself in this sea moss world. And 
they will not be happy with you because you're no longer spending lots and lots and lots of money for someone else to do the work when you've realized how to do it on your own. Look at that, guys. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what that is. Look at that. See those little bumps? I will get one free lecture to whoever can identify that for me. <laughs> it's beautiful. Put her in the bed so she can lay down. I think she's feeling kind of wild. That's my four-year-old that you guys hear running up and down the steps. A little bit wild. Take a little bit of a rest before you get the rest of your day started. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention to the color in this bag. You see that color? Okay, you see this color, right? We can out of here. Let me flip it over. Yeah, now you can see what I'm saying. That red comes from here. They are very bright red when you first harvest them. And the moment that they're in the sun, see that red color, I'll say this again, it comes from them eating blue light. They soak up blue light in the ocean. So that's where that red color comes from. But um, it slowly begins to seep out of it um, as you, you know, the longer it's out of the ocean. But um, I have not been drying my moss at all. I've been cleaning it, soaking it, and processing it raw because I find that I like that better. That's just my preference. Um, so I have not been drying my moss. Now I will be drying it so that I can have a lot, a lot, a lot to take back to the valley with me when I go back to the mountains. Um, but an aquatic harvest is now only eight hours away for me. So this is the bowl right here. Okay, that's the bowl. But this is what I wanted to show you guys when I open the next bag, which is less than a day old. I will do a small video on that as well. But I just had to let you guys see this beautiful moss today. Um, I love y'all. I'm wishing everybody peace and blessings and healing. Um, everybody, if you have any questions about it, you know you can always inbox me or sign up for a class or whatever makes you comfortable. Um... Look at that. Look at this, guys. <laughs> hey. Dr. Sabi for life. I love y'all. Peace, blessings, healing, 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 healing. And I'm signing off. This is Lizzie B. Gold with Lizzie's Alkaline Kitchen coming to you live from West Babylon, New York, New York. <laughs>